Hello and welcome to a video about beat making in Logic Pro 9. Uh, this is the first video in a long series uh, that's going to cover everything you need to know about making beats and songs and music and any kind of things. This video is going to be the first video, as I already said. It's going to be about the basic tools and things you need to know about the interface to start doing things like a madman or a pro. Not that. All right, let's uh, let's do it. This is what a beat will look like when you're pretty much done with it. Not really, depends on what you're doing. I will play this on uh, my next video, which will cover structure and stuff like that. So, um, when you make a new song or project, you'll be greeted with this three, these three categories. Excuse me. Um, I usually do empty project, but for this purpose, I will do the template. So yeah, Logic Pro 9, making music. Oops, two screens. Call this test. Um, yeah, sorry. Anyways, so this is what you get when you make a new project. And it's the first time you're using Logic, you're probably wondering what all this bull crap is. Um, basically, these are your tracks, which is kind of obvious. Your basic track function stuff, whatever you call it, it's down here. Stop record. Um, I'll get to shortcuts later. And this stuff is complicated that I'll talk about later, hopefully. Over here is your is a fader for the current track that is selected, and this is the output um, output fader and effects. So we do like a mini master within. This is are the plugins or effects that are on that certain track you have selected. If they are shaded, they are not. They are not um, being used or not being like they're not affecting the track. And if they're highlighted with blue, then they are being used. And this right here is your EQ, whatever it looks like. Um, this is your buses and sends, which I'll get to in a later video. That is a broad topic. Um, this right here. Okay, I'm just listing things off now. Anyways, that could get boring really quick. Um, so yeah. And to get a scale view of every single track in all of its faders, you click Mixer right there. And if you have two screens, which I happen to have, you just go to Window and Mixer and do that business right there. Or Piano Roll or whatever else your heart is leading you to do. So on to the actual music. To make a new uh, MIDI track, right click MIDI region or escape which will bring up your tools and hit 2 for pencil tool or just click it and you can just start making a ton of tracks make yourself look like you know what you're doing and then quickly just hit 1 and point or 2 again you can just start doing it real quick whatever you want to do there you go once you have a MIDI track, MIDI region, which is basically where you put in your different notes or whatever you want to do in there, double click to bring up the piano roll. And this is where you can look at your different notes. To mess around with the different sounds, hit caps lock. And it'll bring up a mini thing, mini um, keyboard. Or if you have a USB keyboard, you can uh, do that too, whatever you want. To manually just uh, write in the notes, do the uh, pencil tool, do all that stuff. And to adjust the velocity or um, the loudness, do this stuff. And that'll be used a lot. You'll use the velocity tool quite a lot. You'll find many reasons why you want to adjust the velocity. 
and escape that will bring up a lot of different tools you will need um, one of them is the what is it one of them is really cool i forgot which one i don't know i'll get to it later that's the basics of it and then you have the stuff like bring your mouse to the top right corner you can click and drag the loop or the bottom right corner and you can uh, extend the length of it you have things like solo it out let me go over to this to explain these things i guess i will play it all right so i'll just play the first 10 seconds or so Uh -huh. um, these are the basic controls on the tracks right here. S means solo, which will solo out a track, as it'll make it just that track. You'll only be hearing that track and its stuff. Which can be useful a lot of times, especially with the vocals, when you have multi-layered vocals and uh, different things. In the M, what you can probably tell means mute. You can mute all kinds of stuff. You can do whatever you want. You know, just hear your song in a different way. Um, these down here, these track, these buttons, um, these do that. I don't know how to explain that move forward one region this right here is good go to the beginning hear it or you can just click and drag the scroll bar is down here that is very useful obviously um very useful things these things over here um when you first open up logic for the first time it'll have it like this which is impossible to work with sometimes so it's very useful Yeah, good times. All right, I think that is it for this video. You have a basic understanding of the interface. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Goodbye.